Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark, and this is my 2014 Mustang. Now, I need to do some maintenance on here. I've been having a check engine light come on every once in a while. Well, actually, it's only come on twice. One, it came on at autocross, and once it came on while I was drag racing. Now, what it was, it said, is had cylinder number seven misfire. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at it, but I'm mostly just gonna do some maintenance. I just now hit 100,000 miles. It's probably time to do it so I'm gonna do that anyway see if it fixes the problem if not I'll look deeper into it and so today I'm gonna to change out some spark plugs and coils I might even do a few other things let's see what happens all right so I got the 5 liter Coyote V8 let's go ahead and we'll change out some spark plugs I'll show you guys how to do it it's actually really easy on this engine so the first thing you got to do is you got to pull up on this I've already done it you know give you a little bit of space because we got to pull these little covers off and before we do that caps in the way that comes off and then there's just a little clip on top of this hose push the clip over it comes right off so once we do that it gives us it out of the way we just pull this little cover off so it's just got little push pins that it pushes down on we just got to pull on it, it comes right off so here's our little this is one bank of spark plugs the other one's the other bank of spark plugs so these are our little coils, we gotta take these off. We just push these little clips up and then we're gonna push on a little button there. See if we can get it come up. It's hard to do with one hand sometimes. Maybe a pocket screwdriver is what I need. Do as I say, not as I do. Sometimes you can push the little clip up and this will come off. Sometimes not. All right, maybe this is just a two-handed job. I'm gonna put you down real quick and I'm gonna unplug these. All right, so take all the little connectors off. That was pretty easy once you have two hands. And then all you pretty much do, little coil packs, you just pull on them, let come right out. So when you pull these out, you wanna inspect them. Uh, one of them, you wanna look around the outside and make sure there's no cracks or anything in them. And you know, Look down here, make sure there's no oil inside of there, uh, which doesn't look like there is. Get a better flashlight. There we go. So, we just want to look down inside of there, make sure there's nothing in there, make sure there's no oil. And if the, everything looks nice and clean, we can take the spark plugs out. If there is something in there, we want to try to clean it out, that way we don't have it going down inside of the cylinders. So if there's oil, kind of like clean it up with a rag or you know suck it out with whatever you can if some dirt blow some air in there try to get it out and we'll just take the spark plugs out and change them out all right so i got one spark plug out i always like to take out the easiest one first um just so i can take a look at it and make sure for one i got the right parts because if i have the wrong parts and i take out the hard one then i either gotta go get new ones or i gotta go and you know it's gonna take time i gotta put it back together and that was a hard one to do so i'll take the hard first, easiest one out once i verify everything's correct i will start from the hardest one and do the rest of them but when you get your spark plugs out, you want to take a look at them. Let's see if I can. There we go. So you want to inspect for different things. There is a little bit of oil on here. And then when you look at the tip here, you want to see. So if you look at the strap that goes across the top. Yeah, let me see if I can set this down so you guys can see. I can point stuff out a little bit. So this right here is your little strap that goes across the top. And if you look, there's no more little edge on there. Um, as the little spark goes across, it'll sit there and eventually kind of burn away all the, the metal that's there. So if you look at the top of it, the top of it has an edge. Come on, focus. Hard to focus doing it this way. Ooh. Or maybe my camera just won't focus that close. All right, it's hard to tell. Probably cut that out, but there we go. The top of it has kind of a fine edge, but if you look at the, the front of it there, there we go. If you look at the left hand side, you can see that it's a little bit rounder than the right hand side, like a little bit more of it's missing. So these spark plugs have been in there a little while, while they've been worn away. So we need to go ahead and change them out, put some new ones in there. And hopefully that should fix my problem. Cause like these don't look too bad, but they've definitely need to be changed. So let's go ahead and change these out and see if my engine runs better. So I got one bank of spark plugs out. They all look about the same. So 
I've already put the new ones in there and now I'm just going to put the new coils in here and we should be good to go. So that was actually a pretty simple job. Shouldn't take anybody more than like an hour to do honestly. So as you can see I got to put back together. Uh, it was pretty much just doing reverse of what I did to take it apart and I've already done both sides. Honestly this side was much easier than that side was. No, there's a little battery in the back. I did have to take the battery out just so that I can get to the back one. But now that I got the Mustang back together, the only time it really messed up was when I was doing something like autocross or drag racing where I'm actually pushing the engine. Uh, now that I got it back together, I got to go do something like that, see if I can get it to mess up again. Hopefully it doesn't do anything weird, and hopefully that was just an easy fix, and, you know, keep it simple. All right, so it's been about a month and a half or so since I actually did the tune-up, and I've done two autocross events, and everything seems to be running pretty smooth, so basically, you know, keep it simple, guys. If you have a problem, start with the basics and then go from there. If you guys like what you saw, smash that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way, the next time I post a video on one of my cars, you guys will be the first to know. Also, I'll leave my Instagram handle down below. I do post there from time to time. Thank you, guys. I will see you next video.